Oh, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's, or should we say Tuesday's trading session, the 27th of June 2017. It's a midday market report. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so going through the actual numbers this morning, Asian markets uh, certainly look uh, subdued and lacklustre. We have the uh, Nikkei finishing up 71 points, up 0.3, but the uh, Shanghai finishing more or less flat, but up 5, and the Hang Seng finishing uh, down 31. So nothing of any major importance there. No real sense of direction, if anything, flat to uh, positive going into the European session. Uh, the outstanding weakness that we're seeing this morning is from the tech sector, given the news with regards to Google. Uh, the uh, European Union certainly imposing a fine and stating that uh, it's anti-competitive practices and it's uh, blatant manipulation uh, of the uh, the actual search, re search results that are skewed towards those that pay more. So Google's certainly committing a uh, crime there, okay, and certainly being punished accordingly. Now, if they fail to uh, address the issue within 90 days and come up with a solution, then they'll be uh, certainly uh, hit with another 5% daily fine of their global revenue, which obviously is risk negative, and that's hurting the NASDAQ indices at present which is weighing on European indices to a large extent too. Okay, so we've had Mr. Draghi on board this morning again. He's certainly uh, argued for uh, further QE and maintenance of QE, although he certainly seems to have slightly towards a slightly more hawkish tone as opposed to a dovish one, which has sent the Euro USD up to 1.1270, as we can see here. Okay, uh, I was expecting a HNS formation and a, a set-off, given the fact that we have uh, several Fed speakers. With the notable one is Yellen. Who certainly is hawkish and therefore sending the dollar higher. Now the euro itself, as you can see, certainly still pushing higher. I was expecting a reversal, still expecting a reversal on the back of a hawkish yell. And so certainly coming into resistance at this juncture now. Let's see if we the market certainly holds. Okay, looking at a 60 minute chart, we're into that fib R1, R2, R3. So the R3 resistance now, so it certainly seems to have uh, over extended and certainly needs to retrace and pull back so that certainly is the uh, uh, actual expectations with a pullback back down to 1.1 to 10 on the euro usd okay so that's the current status quo in terms of the european indices let's just quickly go through the economic data this morning and uh, that's been of any importance okay so this morning we've had mr draghi speech like i said Certainly seems like it's erring on the side of hawkishness. Uh, well, the market certainly is expecting that, but I'm expecting a reversal. Uh, Italian consumer confidence coming in slightly better than expected, therefore her helping European uh, markets. UK CBI certainly came in stronger as well. And now we're looking forward to the Red Book S&P K Schiller, Richmond Fed, and then for MC Harker and Yellen speaking later on. Also, we have Mr. Kashkari, and keep an eye out for the uh, API data, oil data at 9.30 p.m. because that can certainly move the FTSE and move the markets, okay? Let's move on to the FTSE 100 and uh, European indices. Start off with the German DAX first, okay? German DAX and the daily chart. Certainly testing that key support once again, okay? So testing that double bottom support, horizontal support here, holding the diagonal trend line. Moving on to the 60 minute chart, we've bounced off key support here at 12650, 12640. Certainly is holding that zone for now. 10 minute chart looking for inverted head and shoulders from my perspective here and looking to reverse higher to close the gap above. So that would be the target. Okay. In terms of the uh, uh, French CAC, let's just bring up the French CAC for you folks. Okay. So certainly selling off twice here now. Again, from my perspective, given the fact that Draghi is maintaining his stimulus, it certainly is positive for European indices from my interpretation. Okay. So again, looking for the uh, CAC here. Daily chart on the CAC, uh, again, trading sideways, no real sense of direction here, although it is in a potential downtrend, one could argue. 60-minute chart is putting a bottoming tail, so that certainly is the bottom of the low for the day. You are looking at support being held at 5240, which obviously it has, and then we are looking for a potential pop higher. 10-minute chart, like I said, the target would be that gap fill above, so watch out for gap fill on the French CAC, especially given the fact that Mr. Draghi is upbeat on growth and certainly maintains his, his very sort of dovish stance with regards to additional stimulus. So certainly you're positive from my perspective for the European indices. In terms of the FTSE now, FTSE 100, given the DUP deal, okay, for the FTSE 100 itself, certainly is positive from my interpretation, okay. Daily chart certainly is holding on to that 7400 level and will expect it to do so, okay. Nothing really of any, especially given the fact that oil prices have started to climb as well. If I bring up the chart of oil, folks, 
you can see here daily charts certainly breaking out the bearish candle 60 minute chart certainly thrusting higher and looking to potentially move even more okay so again oil price is certainly recovering should help the FTSE 100 recover too 60 minute chart the oil for the FTSE we certainly have double bottom here at 7400 we had a pivot low of 7411 and therefore we're now looking to reverse to the upside 10 minute chart on the FTSE 100 at present you certainly had gap fill we close the gap okay so we're into that zone here looking for support now on the FTSE uh, from my perspective we certainly even close a gap at 7.424 we tested the support below uh, my understanding and my interpretation is we are now looking to potentially rally on the FTSE 100 certainly looking to move higher here folks okay look up test that 7.450 zone again potentially even say test 7.48 in the back of that DUP, DUP deal obviously uh, removing any potential uncertainty and uh, going forward okay uh, I think that's a good summation really uh, last but not least let's just quickly look at Euro stocks give you an insight here uh, Euro stocks, I certainly went long at this pivot bottom here. Uh, long again now. Uh, I certainly expect a bullish move here going forward. Okay, so looking to potentially close the gap above, which we more or less did. Okay, and potentially test that key resistance up here. Previous support equals resistance. Okay, so potentially another 3560 test and 3570 and 80 test certainly beckons on the Euro indices so certainly bullish from that perspective okay folks i think that's a, a good summation please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and visit trade signal for the latest signals and market updates from leading providers goodbye now